hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne and today we're going to be crocheting this adorable rustic fall coffee sleeve. I love these tiny little orange hearts. I'll put a list of materials and stitches that we're going to be using in the description below as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed this whole pattern out for you. If you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all of my new fun projects. Let's get started. We're going to begin with cream yarn in a size G crochet hook and we're going to chain 35 chain stitches. This pattern is designed to fit a standard reusable Starbucks coffee mug, but you could easily adjust how many chain stitches that you need to fit your mug of choice. For rows one through three, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across, which will be 34 stitches per row. On the last stitch of the third row, we're going to chain two instead of chaining one and turn the work around. And then we're gonna work a row of half double crochet into each stitch across. So that'll be 34 stitches total. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three to do the half double crochet. For rows five through nine, we're going to continue to chain two at the end of each row, and we're going to create that sweater look by half double crocheting into the back stitch only instead of through both of the stitches. So half double crochet through the back stitch in each stitch across for rows five through nine. Crocheting in the back stitch only creates that really ridged sweater look that is so unique about this coffee sleeve. So we're going to do that all the way down for several rows and alternating by flipping you get those nice ridges on either side. For row 10 we're going to half double crochet in the back stitch only as well except that at the end of it we're only going to chain one stitch instead of chaining two. So chain one and turn the work around. So now we're done with the half double crochets. We're going to create rows of flat single crochet just like we did on the bottom. So we're going to do rows 11 through 13 single crochet in each stitch across going through both stitches not just the back stitch only and that will be 34 stitches per row. Once we finish the last stitch, we're going to chain one 
and then we're going to cut the yarn off with a long enough tail to join a seam for the edge of the coffee sleeve and then just pull the yarn through that chain one to secure it nicely see how beautiful this sweater look on this coffee sleeve is i just absolutely love it to create the cute little hearts, we're going to cut off a pretty long piece of this rust colored yarn and thread it onto a yarn needle. The hearts will be placed right in the center of these flat single crochet rows. So we're gonna count in to the left two stitches right in the center of those rows and we're going to create what i like to call a v shape so we're going to stitch through the top to the bottom center and then we're going to skip one stitch in the middle and come back up through the right side and back down through the middle we're going to repeat two stitches on each side of this V to create an adorable little heart. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and tie off that beginning just so that there's no chance of it coming unraveled. I just put a simple little double knot, but I don't pull too tight so that it pulls the heart stitches through on the front side. And we're just gonna continue working these little hearts in all the way across. So I'm gonna count over two stitches from the top right of the previous one one two and then we're going to come up through the bottom just trailing the end of that yarn across the back each time so that's going to be the far left corner of our next heart so the bottom will go down and slightly to the right and then the top we skip one little stitch and bring it back up on the right side and like I said we're just going to repeat this twice to kind of give this heart a little bit of definition
Isn't that just so cute? It should be perfectly spaced to where you have 11 little hearts on the top and the bottom. So we're just gonna tie off what's left on the back very carefully not to pull it through the front and just like a little bitty knot and gonna cut the excess yarn off. Now we're going to repeat the exact same steps on the top side, create 11 hearts and tie it off. To create our seam, we're going to turn the right side inward and put the rough edges together. Then we're going to thread the yarn needle with that long cream tail and we're going to stitch back and forth through the same stitches on each side to create a complete seam. Now we're gonna flip it right side out. Look how nice that seam is. And then we're going to weave in this other loose end and trim any excess and we'll be good to go. I hope you have enjoyed making this coffee sleeve with me. Now you are totally ready for fall. We've got the sweater vibe and the pumpkin spice vibe. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching.